Hello and welcome to another edition of Teal Blue Jays, um, another disappointing video. The Blue Jays last road trip, um, all sweeps, so swept in Boston four games, swept Pittsburgh three games, and then swept by Philadelphia in two games. So all in all record of three and six on this last road trip. And now for a total record of 21 and six, which is tied third slash fourth in the American League East. Half game ahead of the Yankees, who are now 21 and 17. Um, and yes, the Jays have played 25 games on the road with a 12 and 13 record and have played 12 games at home with a 9 and 3 record. So they have played more than double games on the road than they have at home. Um, which you know is, is slightly annoying, but at the end of the year, they all have had 81 games on the road and 81 games at home, and we do have a long homestand here coming up. Um, but you know, it's disappointing. I thought the Blue Jays had one run game problems behind them, uh, but the last few games have been one run, they've lost, um, including a few walk offs, including today, and maybe one or two in Boston, and then in Seattle, they lost. By the one run in the uh, last game there. And uh, it's just disappointing that Gosman had another really good outing. You know, he didn't get the win or loss due to what the final score was and when he left the game. Um, so it would have been charged to whoever pitched attempt today. I did not see who did. Um, but nonetheless, you know, another amazing outing by one of our starters. And it was basically all for nothing. You know, I realized that the Jays did play Zach Wheeler today, but, um, you know, you should be able to score a couple runs off that bullpen that Philadelphia has. And then to only get four runs yesterday against Aaron Ola. And again, that bullpen that um, that Philadelphia has, I think it was actually, no, it was two runs off of Aaron Ola. And then uh, two runs off of uh, the bullpen, but still, nonetheless, it's, it's quite frustrating that the Jays are only five games above 500 again and tied with the Boston Red Sox and half a game ahead of the Yankees who are struggling this year. Um, you know, I realize that these games are not essential or necessary that if you lose, you're out of the playoffs. But we know what happened in 2021. They were out of the playoffs by one game. So in the American League East, even with the expanded wild card, um, you know, you really, really got to win as much as you can and when you get swept by Boston a team that's not very good and are now you know really two or three games uh, ahead of where they should be because the Jays should have been able to take at least two in Boston or or you know even three um it's 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 a frustrating um especially with the Rays not losing you know the Rays don't even have 10 losses yet and with the Orioles kind of surprising everyone you know, it's it's quite disappointing to see the Blue Jays where they are. Now, I know it's only been 37 games. There's still a lot of season to go. You know, we still have 125 games left to play. You know, there's quite a bit of time to go. Things can change drastically. But nonetheless, same thing happened in 2021. You know, oh, you know, they don't have to win now. And sure enough, you know, they won a lot of games still. But to be out of the playoffs by one game, game it's it's really frustrating and uh, the thing is too for the Blue Jays that if Tampa Bay continues to pace her on they're obviously going to win the American League so the Blue Jays really 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 can't be the number five or six team because if they do that means if they somehow win the wild card game which I know seems like a foreign concept to them after last year um, they'll have to play the Tampa Bay race and uh, you know we just has Toronto cannot play Tampa Bay or Florida anymore in the first round of the playoffs or even the second round of the playoffs. Um, we got to find someone we can probably beat. And uh, I know that we took two out of three in Tampa Bay in our last homestand, or excuse me, not this past homestand, but the homestand before, which were the first two losses that Tampa Bay had this year. Um, but nonetheless, you know, we don't want to push our luck too much. Look at the Leafs, play Tampa Bay, finally, finally won in uh, seven games there, or excuse me, six games. But now, you know, we could very easily be swept by the Florida Panthers. Um, and I think the Jays and Toronto fans have had enough of playing uh, Florida teams in the playoffs already this year, so we don't want that to happen this year. 
Um, and again, I know that there's still lots of time to go. Um, you know, things can change drastically. Um, but, you know, the Jays really got to figure out what they're going to do because we've had pretty good pitching so far this year from the starting rotation. And, you know, the bullpen hasn't been as good as we expected it to be, although I don't think really anyone expected it to be much better than what it is. Um, but also, it's disappointing Manoa um, giving up the four runs yesterday. Uh, was out getting out of the fifth inning, so he didn't even apply for the win or loss. Um, it, it's quite it's quite frustrating when, you know, this is your young guy who's supposed to be the next ace of your team, the homegrown ace. Um, and he's only really had one truly good outing, which was against the Yankees, and that was another one-run game that we should have won, and we didn't. Um, and it, it's it's quite frustrating as a, as a fan because you know that the Jays should be better. We keep making... Uh, strategic additions to the team we added three left-handed bats this year who are all two of them are great defensive players and Brandon Belt you know he hasn't had a great start but we know that he's hopefully going to turn around like Matt Chapman did last year um, but it, it's quite it's quite frustrating um, you know Vlad isn't hitting for the power once again and you know his average numbers uh, or on base numbers aren't that bad at all i mean pretty close to 300 if not over 300 um but you know you want him to hit for power right he's your big first baseman we signed him as a 16 year old thinking he was going to be the big power guy we saw it in 2021 but 2022 he did not show it in 2023 he has not shown it so far um so that's disappointing and you know as a first baseman, that's that's what you want what you want to do. And you know, adding adding three left-handed bats to the lineup, you know, there's not as many right handers anymore. So when you're one of the right handers that's still left in that lineup, you gotta be able to produce in big spots. And you know, I'm not saying he isn't producing, but you know, you don't want to just see a deep fly ball or a double or a hard single. You wanna see some more home runs. And uh, you know, luckily Bo's been hitting for power this year, which is good. And on base percentage is significantly better this year at the beginning of the season compared to last year. Um, but there's just things that cannot happen that continue to happen. And I realize that no team is perfect, but you know, we keep saying that the movie's coming, the movie's coming, the movie's coming, and you kind of become a laughing stock when there's really no movie other than a horror movie that's being showed to the fans. And again, I know there's lots of time to go on, but I just I don't want to get ahead of myself. But it, it's super frustrating when the continuous woes happen. Um, you know, we're supposed to have one of the best offenses of baseball. We got to start showing it. Yes, we do get quite a few runs sometimes, but it's got to be more consistent. It can't just be, oh, well, you got 10 runs in this series. So now we're going to go ahead and get only five in this series. No, like you got to be more consistent. And, you know, it's it's frustrating because we can't really play the youth card anymore. Yes, or Vlad, Bo, Danny, uh, Alejandro, uh, Manoa, all still fairly young. Yes, in relative perspective, they're young. But now they got a few years behind them. We can't say, oh, you know, they're still new to the game. Look at Adley Rutschman in Baltimore, right? Like he is a star, you know? Again, has Baltimore played the same harder teams that Toronto's played so far? No, they haven't. Has Baltimore played 25 games on the road and only 12 at home? No, they haven't. They've had a better home road split in terms of amount of games played at each. But nonetheless, the Orioles have the young stars that are figuring out. And yes, we did have Vlad do that in 2021, I do realize. But, you know... Now Springer has absolutely no luck. He's not even playing because he's got a little bit of a virus or illness going on right now. So hopefully he recovers from that soon. Um, but it, it's disappointing that your leadoff guy isn't doing very well. Your number three guy is not hitting for power. Your number four guy, which is Varsho, you know, was scruffling for a bit, but he's obviously doing better. Um, but luckily Chapman's been doing good. He's cooled off. A little bit but he's still doing better but again like these are things that you know blue jays gotta figure it out this is can't be inconsistent anymore because if you want to win at least a few rounds in playoffs not necessarily even a championship this year you got to be able to do that and until that happens 
you know, we're continue going to be a few games above 500, a few games over that bare minimum. Um, but we all know that that won't last long if you get swept again. Um, or, you know, it won't last long if you're five games over 500, but three other teams are ahead of you because you won't even make the wild card unless you're really lucky. Um, so it's time that the Blue Jays got to figure it out. And, um, you know, obviously there's still lots of time. I'm hoping that after 74 games, I'll have a happy video going, yay, you know, Blue Jays, let's go. Um, but right now where they are, I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm sure some of the other fans are too. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but it is frustrating uh, when you lose both games in Philadelphia and get swept by Boston. Four games, luckily, they got that sweep against Pittsburgh. Um, but still, nonetheless, still disappointing. Still need to have a better record on the road because uh, that's really the only way you're going to uh, do well and get into the deep in the playoffs because a 9 and 3 record, uh, we're not going to have a, a 750 record throughout the year at home. So let's go, Jays. Let's see you guys in the next video.